Right. So, as Jensen is playing over the guitar, we are doing a mid at Thief episode. Okay, it doesn't work. <laughs> I told you, man. <laughs> Yes. Oh, Command. Man, honestly, dude, I can just smell the amount of, oh, dude, this sounds nothing like mid -Eye Thief, man. This sounds nothing like mid -Eye Thief, man. Yo, this sounds nothing like mid -Eye Thief, man. Oh. What I did here is that I, we caught a lot of the high, caught a lot of the lows. Initially, like, Jen was gonna boost the third, like, boost, like, 1k hertz here and shit. Like, it was, ah. Quick tip, most of the time you want to subtract 
you want to do subtractive EQ, not like additive EQ most of the time, right? So 90% of the time, if you think you want something to sound better, subtract, not add. Sorry about the crackling, it's because my guitar is just, not my guitar, my neck is just dying. So that's what I did, I kind of mapped the output, so even though it's already played by hand and it's like really human-like, I kind of wanted to like accentuate the thing. And also, when you're making music like this where there's not a lot of drums, in these kind of beats or these kind of music, you want to create um, call, the call and response using um, each other. So. When you have drums, it's really easy to, to do call and respond to the beat because um, you can just kind of make the beat bouncy, the, the drum loop and stuff bouncy, and then it's already kind of like, you know, there's like perk here and the snare and there's a kick, so it's like really bouncy already. But for music like this, where it's more static and less sort of drum focus, you create call and response by kind of automating when certain parts of the beat kind of comes in. You know that thing? Yeah, so that's actually done using the delay plugin right in Ableton. So, if you can see here, the dry bed is all the time high. I am delaying, I am changing the delay. So the, the sync here. So we can, if we go back here, so that's how you create that sound. And I found these Foley stuff in my Edmonton library. This is access like Foley, just texture. These kind of sounds you can get off Bandcamp. There's this guy called Free to Use Sounds. He literally just gives everything for free. I thought it was fitting to bring out my OP1 and just kind of play some weird ear candy. Just because I feel like this kind of shit really fits. Um, Meta Thieves like ethos and vibe. I used Digital Clip Center. Can't remember what exactly the reason was for that, but I, did, I used that and I used this tape in wood space. Then I, you know, cut the low ends. Then my favorite trick, which uh, Bursak taught me, is that this erosion trick. So, what you do here is that you find the key that's in, you put it in there, and then I put Maha Room. This is the, I use the large ambience preset. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Kinsa and I will be back for a part two. If you guys need a community where you can find like-minded people, then join my Discord. My beat website is in the description as well. Check out Kinsan. Thank you very much again. Once again, he's an extremely talented kid. The demo will play after this. Peace.